Hey there, Homestead. It's Elizabeth from Community, and today we're going to be talking about the feature in Website Builder called docking. Now, docking is super useful when it comes to how you position the elements on the website, and I'll show you how in just a second. Um, docking options can be added on to pretty much any element, um, buttons, contact forms, containers, images, maps, you know, shapes, text, videos, and to add the docking options or to get to the docking options, you just have to click on the element, click more on that menu, and then find the icon that looks like this. If you hover your mouse over it, it's going to say docking options. So if you click on that, it'll show you the options that are available. Now you can dock either horizontally or vertically. Now remember, this is in the section that you have this element in. So in between this line and this line, is section B, and if I add some docking options, it's going to center it within the section, or, or it's going to dock to the top of this section. Um, it's not with the whole page. So you, you click on this, you click more, you click that icon, and say I want this text box to be directly in the middle of the page. I click the center option, and it'll put it exactly in the middle of the page. And then this just it makes it easier to give your site a really clean and professional look to it. You know, you can try to put the text box in the middle yourself, but you might not get it exactly there. So this is a way to just do it really, really nicely. And the, the element is not locked right there. You can move it, and it's going to have a red line that sort of tells you exactly how far away you're getting from the center. Same thing happens when you dock vertically. It'll put it in the middle of those two lines. And when you move it, it's going to have the lines telling you how far away you've gotten to that center as well. So it's really useful that way. Um, another way that you can use docking is, let's say you put an image on your page. And while we don't really recommend building outside of these guidelines, say you choose to put an image to the far left of your website. It'll look good in the builder, it'll be all the way to the left, but when you preview or publish, there's going to be this space on the side, and the space is going to be bigger depending on what size of the screen of the person who's pulling your site up. If it's a really wide screen, the space could be really wide. A way to fix that is to use docking. Now you click on the docking icon, you dock left, and then it's going to put it all the way to the edge of the screen no matter how wide the screen is. So for people that want to have this effect on their website, that's how you would achieve that without having that big space on the left or the right depending on what side you choose to dock it. Now, one thing I want to mention is you can't just have the image be in the middle of the page and then choose dock left. It's not going to do it. You kind of have to do half of the work by putting it over to the side to begin with. Um, and the last way to use docking that I want to mention is let's say you're going to add an element like a map. And a really popular thing to do these days is to put a map all the way across the page so you, again, you can stretch the map all the way across the best you can in the builder. But once you do a preview, it's going to have the spaces on the sides, and that just doesn't look great. To fix that, you would go into the docking options, look for that icon, and you would use the stretch option. You want to stretch it horizontally. You can also stretch it vertically, and it'll just fill up the section that it's placed in. Then. When you do a preview, it's going to stretch all the way across and have a really nice effect there. And this is regardless of the size of the screen that pulls up your website. So those are the different ways you can use docking. You know, play around with it on your site, see what works best for you, and happy building.